Hello, I'm Assad Ahmed. A decision on whether there's to be a high-speed rail link between London and the north of England is expected very shortly in the Prime Minister's words. It's why anti-HS2 protesters were in Boris Johnson's constituency of Uxbridge today. Here's Aisha Baksh. A Saturday stroll through the Buckinghamshire countryside. Local residents and climate change activists have long been working together to fight HS2. There's been a protest camp here for over two years and some of the surrounding countryside has already been dug up for preliminary construction work. They've been ripping up through, uh, ripping up uh, uh, nature reserves, been ripping through woods. The high-speed railway is designed to link London to Birmingham and then Manchester and Leeds. The government says it will cut overcrowding on the railways and help rebalance the UK's economy. Every single piece of international evidence shows that HS2 will drag more economic activity to London. This idea that it's going to be this magic wand to balance the north-south divide is just made up by the people who are lobbying for HS2, the people who are going to make the billions of pounds of taxpayers' money out of making it. This is Boris Johnson meeting campaigners while Mayor of London back in 2012. He's always said he wanted to minimise HS2's disruption, but has never completely come out for or against it. And with just days to go till a possible decision on HS2's future, his constituents hope he will help them. Do you have faith that the right decision will be made? At the moment? No. But we, we're not going to stop. We're gonna, we've got to keep faith and think. There's also a fear the tranquility of the waterways here will be impacted by a viaduct to be built over the Grand Union Canal. And locals are appealing to their MP and the Prime Minister that nature will win out in the end. Aisha Buck, BBC London.